There was once a young man who was born into poverty but was yet ambitious. This adolescent was one who even became a priest for money and luxury. But who is this priest and why is he a saint? This is the story of St. Vincent de Paul. Twenty fourth April, fifteen eighty one. Vincent was born to Jean de Paul and Bertrand de Maurice, a peasant couple living in the French province of Guyenne. The family could only make ends meet through hard work and labor. Vincent also partook in the family's burden and used to herd the livestock. As a little child, Vincent had a special talent for literacy. Seeing this, his parents sent him to a seminary for his education, managing to do so only after selling the family's oxen. Soon, he managed to pay for his education by tutoring other students. Young Vincent hated the peasant life. He wanted to lead a life of luxury and one with social dignity. He thus continued his education to become a priest, since he thought that it was the best way to fulfill his needs. Vincent was ordained a priest after many years of his education. On 23rd September 1600, he continued his studies even after his ordination. Vincent used to travel to different places. It was during such a journey to Narbo that a fleet of pirates surrounded the ship which was boarded by Vincent and captured. They took Vincent and all who were with him as captives. They brought him to Tunis where he was auctioned off as a slave. His master, who was a Christian, had converted to Islam to gain freedom from slavery. Vincent converted both the man and his wife to Christianity and they secretly boarded a small boat and crossed the Mediterranean reaching France. Vincent continued studying in Rome after this incident. His attitude still remained the same. He never used to do anything that did not help him. It was here that he met Cardinal Pierre de Beru, who became his spiritual guide. It was long after his adolescence that Vincent had a change of mind. He was listening to the confession of a dying peasant. Vincent saw the poverty around him, peasants working day and night without proper sleep and still not being able to eat two meals a day. What am I doing about this? Vincent asked himself. He wanted to do something about the situation. Vincent influenced the wealthy people to help the poor. He used this money to build hospitals, help victims of war, and to ransom over 1,200 galley slaves. He used to go on constant tours and visit the sick and the homeless and help them. He established the Congregation of the Missions, popularly known as the Vincentians, dedicated to helping the poor and the sick. He also established the Daughters of Charity with St. Louis de Marillac, who were the women counterparts of the Vincentians. Vincent also conducted retreats for several of the clergy at a time when there was abuse, laxity and ignorance among them. He established many seminaries and reformed the clergy. Vincent was also selected to be the Queen's spiritual advisor. Jansenism, a growing heresy, was also dealt with by Vincent de Paul. Since now he had much more influence, he made sure that the plight of the poor did not go unnoticed by the French government. He even visited different war zone areas and provided them with care and hospitality. Vincent spent the latter days of his life dedicating himself to the service of the poor and the sick. He passed away on 27th September 1660 at the age of 79. 16th June 1737 Vincent de Paul was canonized by Pope Clement XII. He was declared the patron saint of charities, hospitals, prisoners, 
leprosy and volunteers. His feast is celebrated every year on September 27th. St. Vincent de Paul is a great example of how people can change, no matter how ignorant or greedy. And that is the story of St. Vincent de Paul. If you want more videos like the one you are watching right now, subscribe to Fantastic Catholic, where we will be uploading many, many videos like this soon. Don't forget to leave a like and share how you felt after watching this story in the comment section. Thank you and God bless.